part of me missing but said I was okay I was searching for love I was walking the wrong way never opened my eyes I was blind to your grace I gave up after losing the games that they all play but you you're breaking every rule I thought I knew now I got a hand to hold don't Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to share this video with you guys today as I go through some ideas on how to decorate your fall front porch on a budget. I love being able to recreate a vision with items that we already have in our home so you're going to be seeing some of those in my video today. If you have any questions please leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get them answered as quickly as possible. But without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So my number one tip for budgeting when you're decorating is to get a vision board of things that you are really inspired by and how you want your area to look. So last year I really struggled with decorating our front porch with just the way that our door is set up. It's not right in the center. It's not a very big area and I just kind of got lost and going to Pinterest this time around and just like looking at different ideas, different setups that were similar to mine and how they used it and decorated it was so much easier. And it really did save us a lot of money because last year I tried to buy a whole bunch of different things because I was completely lost on how I wanted the area to look. All of the things that I bought, I either bought too much of or it didn't fit or it didn't look good and I hated it. And so this is just a really good way to be able to save money and just recreate your vision as to what it is that you want it to look like. So a couple different ways that you can do that is just finding items in your home that you already have. So for example, I have this blanket ladder here. This was actually used in our bedroom, but we weren't really using it. And so when I saw this Pinterest board of a blanket ladder outside, I absolutely love the idea. It's completely different. I've never seen it before and it was just definitely my style. It kind of gives it some height and dimension in the back. So I absolutely loved that idea. Um, another thing that I had in my house was this tin bucket pumpkin sign. And I love the way that it's used here. I just love the different varieties of colors and just like the metal in contrast with the oranges and the whites. I just think it looks very pretty. A couple of different other things that I had were these wreaths. This yellow one has this beautiful pop of color and then I have a more neutral one and I just I really like how they look. Another really big important thing is so we used to go to a pumpkin patch and buy all of our pumpkins and our corn stalks and it really added up quick. So instead we have this cute little like roadside stand just down the road from us and they grow their own pumpkins and they sell them for like a buck a piece and they're huge. And then they have these corn stalks that are like five cents a stock. Just going to a roadside stand, even like a grocery store, or if you have friends that are farmers or something, like now is a great time to hit them up if they have like extra hay bales or corn stalks or even like pumpkins that they grew or anything like that, squash, gourds. It's just, it's a great resource and a great way to save money on those things. So that's another really great way just to incorporate all of these beautiful colors in the pumpkins and the stalks without having to break the bank. My third and final idea is just being sure that you're hitting up the thrift stores. I can't preach this enough. I have found so many cute items at thrift stores before and I kind of just look throughout the year for different seasons. People donate some really, really nice things and even if it's not specifically for like fall or Christmas or spring, like I will try to incorporate it like year round and I just love it. I Any way that I can save money and make my house look expensive is a win for me. I 10 out of 10 recommend you guys try and thrift first before you go buy retail. So um, I hope this helped you guys if you are kind of struggling or if you are trying to decorate your front porch and you just are really not being able to figure out how you want to go about it. 
Um, I hope these tips kind of helped you along the way. If you guys like this video, please be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.